or government decided they want to rush through uh, really anti-democratic legislation. They want to shut down uh, QP workers' right to strike, and they're willing to use the notwithstanding clause, which is basically like taking away people's human rights, their right to strike. It's a democratic right of the charter in, in Canada. And to do that, they're fast-tracking it through the legislature here using every trick in the book. And one of the things they did is they had us all come in really early this morning so they could get it done faster. So it's really devious and really underhanded way, and it means it's probably never going to see uh, any kind of public hearings. Education workers are like, you know, lunchroom supervisors and uh, office admin and educational assistants that help kids who have special needs. And they're already making, on average, about $39,000 a year. And, and they're one of the lowest paid workers in our sector. So what this means for them, right now, they're going to food banks. Half of those workers are going to food banks. A lot of those workers are juggling more than one job. I think what this legislation means, freezing their wages essentially again, is a cut for them. We're going to see them leave the sector. It's going to be hard to go any of these jobs, just like in the healthcare sector. And that's going to cause a crisis in public education, just like we're seeing in healthcare. This is the road to privatization of education, right? Because the more that they undermine education, uh, the more that they're going to keep putting forward other solutions. They want to drive everybody into private schools, uh, private tutoring. Uh, we're saying, no, you got like $6 billion in reserve right now that you haven't spent on education. Invest in our classrooms, invest in our kids. Public education is the way to go. It's the absolute foundation of democracy. This is not just about education workers wanting uh, an increase in their wages. Um, this is about getting the funding we need for our schools that are broken. They're br the system is broken. We need custodians. We need educational assistance. Nobody wants this job because it's difficult to live off of these wages. And when we are sick, there's nobody there to replace us. Just today, I was talking with a co-worker and at their high school, five EAs were away yesterday in a high school. What does that mean? That means the workload for the EAs that are there increases. Those students are not getting the support that they need, that they deserve from this government. We need parent support to understand that this isn't just about a union or the union. We are the union. The workers are the union. We're there for your students, for your children, and we love our job. That's why we do it. But this has now become impossible to do on the wages that we receive. We have said if we do not have a deal on Friday, we will not be at work. We have schools closing around this province because if we're not there, it's not safe for your kids to be there.